Hello, Abhishek. How are you? Hi, Nikki. Hi. Thank you for, thank you for joining in. Um, thank you, Sujit. Um, Hi. Hi, and Jetan. Um, Frank is going to be joining us soon. Uh, hi, Jetan. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining in. This is, we are into the second day now, and uh, we've had some great uh, conversations, and we are very glad that uh, we're very excited that you could join us today. I'm going to start by introducing uh, Sujit and Nikki to everybody. The first section will be a conversation with them, and then we'll move uh, after the first 20 minutes uh, to Jininia and then Jack in that, in that order. Uh, Surjit Nongmekam, am I spell, am I spell, Nongmeng Kapam? Kapam, yes. Kapam, okay. Thank you, yes. Surjit, for helping me with that. Uh, is, uh, he's from Manipur, from basically Imphal, which is actually a great place for, uh, I think, some of the greatest theater makers of our country have been from that place we, we always look up to, the art from Manipur. Uh, he's a choreographer and performing artist. He did his BA in choreography from Natya Institute of Kathak and choreography. Is that the one in Bangalore, Sujit? Is that where yes, you went? It, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. Um, and he he is uh, one of the leading lights of choreography in India, not surprisingly. And he takes his work uh, to several places, several festivals. Um, and we are very glad to welcome you, Sujit. Uh, and we are also very glad to welcome Nikki, who is a story seeker and she explores uh, photography uh oral tradition of storytelling uh, and she's also the founder of octave uh, foundation uh, so welcome uh, both of you here uh, i'll just open it by asking you um before frank joins in that how has it been for you right uh, through this pandemic and where are you now what time is it where you are and what is the situation of the pandemic in your place? Well, I am in Delhi and Surjit is currently in Imphal right now. Uh, Delhi, of course, has been a, is right now in a really better place than what it is currently in uh, Imphal. Uh, the number of cases has been raising uh, rapidly. I mean, it's uh, the last uh, count was somewhere around uh, in, in four digits. In 24 hours, there were four digits of positive uh, cases reported. So Surjit might be able to add a more light on that. <laughs> Sajid? Yes, I have been uh, calling by someone and uh, it's been disturbing. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yeah, I mean, uh, this COVID-19 is uh, giving a lot of uh, struggles uh, to everyone. And especially, I don't think it's a particularly for, uh, for, for uh, artists or for laborers. I think it is for everyone. Sorry, I've been calling by someone because the thing is right now also in my family, uh, there is a three cases of positive. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry that somebody is trying to call me uh, again and again. I'm using my phone. That is why also. Yeah. Sorry for that. No, of course, this is something real. So a family member calls in about about the situation. So, um, Nikki, maybe uh, we go back um, um, to you. Um, um, tell us a little bit, um, a bit more about you and your work, and um, and how has it been impacted? Oh, before I begin um, uh, uh, about myself, I really want to congratulate uh, Frank, you for 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 this wholesome event that you it's 19th hour you're still going strong thank you again then then we have a big round of applause to all of you thank you <laughs> well as uh abhishek mentioned uh, i am an enthusiastic uh, uh, and passionate story seeker and uh, i explore stories through the medium of photography written words story tra tradition of storytelling and the art of listening uh, I'm also the founder of Octave Foundation, which was built with a vision to bring people together to celebrate the cultural diversity of this planet. And under the aegis of Octave Foundation, we uh, curate interdisciplinary performing arts and conversations around the arts and culture. Our main project is called Wari, which means story in the Maitaloan language. 
um, and it is a curated storytelling journey that revisits oral storytelling tradition, mostly through folk tales from different parts of the globe. We adapt the story and they uh, and uh, and present it in in uh, current context. We perform at established theater spaces, bookstores, community uh, spaces, basically every place where listeners are there. Uh, we also uh, got commissioned projects from Instituto Cervantes, Nueva Delhi, and the Embassy of Argentina to bring stories uh, in Spanish language live on stage for Indian uh, audience. So, and we uh, operate from Delhi and Imphal as our base cities. Yeah. So, so, and, um, and have you been able to do your work? Was it for you uh, possible to continue your practice? Well, uh, when we started the uh, journey of Octave Foundation, it was with a hope to bring people away from the digital medium and encourage uh, engagements in live theater performances. The pandemic has, however, pushed us in a completely opposite direction, and we are learning to adapt to uh, online interactions. Uh, we started conversations and performances online, uh, but we faced a number of technical challenges. And along with it, uh, we, uh, we came across a new challenge of getting live audience. Ticketed events have not been successful at all. Uh, we sense there is a, a audience exhaustion from online engagement. Uh, but uh, the, on the, on the, on the, on the um, uh, constructive side, we also experience a new and more accessible mode of collaboration. Like in our conversations uh, series titled Makhol and Rachel, uh, we were able to bring in uh, guest artists from Australia, um, Mumbai, Kashmir, etc. Uh, before the pandemic, this was not really on our radar and we would have waited for strong resources at our hand to bring in people from such vast uh, geographical locations. So there is, is there something happening in one way, you know, you, you had to restrict the work, what you normally do. On the other hand, something in, um, expanded. Um, uh, Surjit, um, are you, can you talk, tell us what happened? Who called you? Is it a family member? Is it about COVID? Uh, yeah, actually, right now, uh, we are in the containment zone. My father and my nephew and my sister, got the positive yeah so his entire family yeah got a positive note so it is uh, quite traumatic i think we earlier on we had Jeanette uh, with us from indonesia and he said you know uh, most of the time we read about uh, covid we read about uh, corona in the news and this was talked about but now it's here it's with us it's with our families and um, and i think this is a, 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 a reality um, um, now, um, for for India, Nikki, do you think um, um, some change will come out of it? I mean, now this is a kind of a, a first gathering what Tandi and Abhishek put together as part of this 24-hour marathon, 50 Indian artists uh, who also have never gotten together in that sense of an online uh, gathering. And um, do you feel that... Um, <clears throat> perhaps um, things will emerge um, out of the, that will make uh, the, the community stronger? Or do you feel, we just heard from Australia, from Patricia, who said, you know, I, I feel this is the end of something. Uh, um, it is a gigantic step backwards and we will not recover that loss that we experienced. Australia doesn't care about the culture. It is, had never has really cared. It just became clear now. Well, uh, Frank, I don't think I will be in a position to uh, talk about the entire India because India is such a culturally yeah. diverse uh, 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 country. Uh, where I come from, Imphal, Manipur, uh, it's a it's a hub of multiple arts and uh, culture space. Uh, but those um, majority of the art and culture survive have survived uh, if, uh, through rituals, daily rituals which are part of our day-to-day -day lives, like birth and uh, inauguration of a new new house or death or, or, or a marriage. So in all this act of rituals, artists are involved. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are traditional artists who, uh, you know, survive from the uh, uh, appreciation given by, uh, appreciations in the form of cash and kind by the audiences, not even by the host. 
so and we need to uh, so during this pandemic we saw a complete halt manipur is unlike uh, 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 other regions of uh, india is a highly militarized zone the situations are when we talk about lockdown and curfews no one is allowed to step out of their uh, house and we have been oh. experiencing this since the 80s and 90s we have a strictly british coronial uh, 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 act called the armed forces uh, special power act which has been there and there are a lot of extrajudicial killings in manipur uh last night only when i was speaking to my mother she told me that in just in the neighborhood the police forces were beating up uh, uh, uh people because they had come out for walks you know they were not like gathering in public but a couple of people taking a walk or taking their dogs for work now you can you can't keep the dog the animals under 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 curfew <laughs> they have their yeah. own uh, on on environment so uh things are quite different there and i need also need to mention that manipur has seven uh, critically endangered languages and along with it certain uh, it has their own uh, cultures uh, and, and and art practices i have a big fear that couple of those forms may have extinct during this uh, uh, lockdown really yeah because no one has really focusing or talking about the traditional art for uh, 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 practitioners Uh, I come from a privileged uh, uh, background. I have access to internet. I connect in in global uh, language. I have this platform. Uh, I am a freelance artist, though I don't have, and because of which I don't get. And now there's another uh, big issue about it. Being in freelance artist, uh, we don't come under the aegis of the uh, state government schemes or the government schemes. so we have been totally dependent on our audiences and couple of commission works that we get uh, from the uh, cultural institutions so uh, yeah and i don't see theater spaces opening up i have been in delhi for the last 6 months and i don't see theater spaces opening up and people uh, garnering the courage and the courage to once again go out in theater people do go out for for to malls and to party and all but i really don't see people investing in cultural uh, spaces yeah that's it, it is uh, it is uh, quite sad especially as we find out no it is the theater community that is at the forefront of helping it's the forefront of being there for the neighbors for the citizens and um, the taking over what government so shamefully has neglected and i uh, i hope is this effort will be uh, recognized and also rewarded surjit tell us a little bit um, about you and more about your artistic work what do you what are you engaged in uh i'm a uh, artist and a performer and choreographer based in manipur uh i born in my hometown called koiro uh, tonju patu and uh, yeah i've been practicing i i will say i'm more into the art creator and i still love to create in this pandemic also and that is why today uh, also i will be performing for four minutes in the last segment today yeah yeah so this is um quite an extraordinary time and, and your family i think you got interrupted so you just learned that part of your family you know came down with covid and um and will they be taken care of will they be safe uh, uh, will they yeah they've been uh, isolated in their own rooms and uh, been uh, helping them out for serving their food and you know and also a little bit of cooking for them and that is what happening right now it's lucky that you know the manipur we live with a big family and uh, we don't have like a separation for everyone in our room i mean it's a big family so we was very worried for our small nephew because they because it's been need to take care but luckily they got uh, you know negative uh, that's is the good news uh, so right now yeah we it's been isolated for two uh, two days right now so we are still more to go for 12 days because we have to stay for 14 days i think so yeah mm -hmm. yeah so the question to nikki and uh, is sorry why do you do theater why do you feel it is important why did you choose it you know and, but now it's becoming even more clear that it's such an uh, insecure position in life to be in already before 
COVID, but now it becomes, why did you feel you wanted to be part of the world of art, of performance at theater? So, do you want to go first? Yeah, I will go first. Uh, I would like to, uh, since I'm also like, uh, I would like to use my own mother tongue. So, and Nikki will help me to translate a little bit. Yeah, uh, good to hear yeah. the language. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I also thought. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Manipur has a young fan of Wari of COVID 19 Gi, Madam Oiduna Haitaria, to go Manipur, say, Yamna, Sokolova, Pagi. Culture, the Amazon sport, the Yam Chakula ba mapham mane. Adu bo hanta ki COVID nineteen lap da gi. Let's translate one second. Wait one second. Yeah, he says that the number of positive cases in Manipur is rapidly increasing, which causes a lot of difficulties. Uh, Manipur is also a state which is vibrant with arts and culture and sports, which has brought a uh, name to the country. Uh, I give in a art artist of my own. I give the yam some lava. I give in a day of a art creation to Basine. I give Aduga. I give Nabzaba performance to Zaraga. I give Kitang Panzera Pope Saduna. A quiggy performers. Kay a quiggy Manipugi artist. Kaida. I give Nabzaba. Uh, some pump carapiraga. So many things about some some book choreographer money. Uh, I'm a humble art creator. I I create art and that's how I service the people. The remunerations that I get from our productions, uh, I share it with my fellow performers uh, and that's how, uh, that's our survival. Aduga, Hazik, Akwe Manipur, Jai, Yamna, Wari, Adudagi, Kitang Kitani, Akwe Gi, Wada, Bahai, Jai, Ma'ama, Kitang Hai Gadra, Adubo, Mayam, Loina, Bati, Wari, Adubo, as an artist, Amo, Aina, Aishu, Atopa, Artist, Atopa, then uh can uh the Busunati, Matem Pan in Dabu Sunati, Adubu, Isazu, Yamna, Awaba Maitunga Ringaida, Atopagi, Matem Pamba say Yamna, Awaba Mani. Uh Manipur is facing many hardships currently as it ha and it has been going uh this has been there for many ages. Uh only a few privileged people are untouched by the challenges. Uh as a freelance artist, I have my own set of uh challenges. There are many people who are suffering more than me. I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, adu dagi aina 2020 da aigi nuksi jaraba aigi support tau bininga ay moina phone ga tau birakta na hangi adu dagi aina chance lahora ga aigi khara ga nak na ba miyoi khara da aina propose khara tau bi have the apoy ga artist da mateng pang na ba maduda. I give some pump courage of Piraki, a quiggy donors Karana, Madu Doina, artist Twenty Nipanda, people Namki. I have, uh, I uh, am struggling with my own hardships. Uh, when I'm struggling with my own hardships, it is difficult to reach out to people uh, who are in need. Uh, however, in 2020, I reach out to some of the people I trust, people I know are my well wishes and sought their help. With their generous help, Nachom Arts Foundation was able to provide a little help to 28 uh, different artists. Yeah. yeah. So thank you, Nikkei. Today, I would like to, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to share the name, the contributor, but some of them prefer to be anonymous. Uh, is that okay to uh, name their name? Sure. Okay. The first one, the first one uh, was uh, uh, is a let, uh, he he left last year. Is the Asta Debo and Babina Jamubam, Claire Vernet, and Jonathan Devoro War, Alexander Stay Halit, and Tomoko uh, Kurowa and Sami Khan, and lastly Aditi Mangaldas Dance Company. So they are the contributors and donors for us. That's amazing. That's that is so so important. Nikki, tell us a little bit about uh, about you. How, how did you get into theater? Why is it important for you to practice it or dance uh, and choreography? Yeah. I think I uh, mm, I didn't choose theater. Theater chose me. Uh, my my I was raised in an environment. My grandfather uh, was a national award winner who practices uh, theater and music. Uh, 
so I was brought up in an environment uh, uh, where I was introduced about art and culture at a very young age. Uh, but then I went on to study uh, information technology and I was working with, uh, with the MNC for a long time. Uh, but uh, I think I have a tendency to ask questions and uh, you know raise questions so that define for me that defines the very definition of an artist to question the status quo and maybe that's why uh, this line chose me okay, that's a wonderful wonderful uh, description that it was actually um the uh the the, 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 the profession that chose you to to be part of did you both of you did you prepare some kind of a reading will you uh, share something with us Yes, yeah, uh, I Suji, Suji, go ahead. Yeah, I, uh, we prepared for a performance. I will be performing uh, for four minutes, uh, if that's okay. Absolutely, and, yeah. we have time, yeah. yes. Yeah, and I have a short yeah. one minute uh, uh, Manipuri poem uh, to read out. Good, we have a lot of yeah. time, that's yeah. good. Yes. So I'll be performing and Nikki will be helping me uh, for the voiceover with my performance. Okay. Okay. I, I will be moving a little bit my performance. As a performer, I thought it would be good for me to perform. Yeah. Good. So, Nikki, are you ready? Yes, all set. Ah, uh, see, Daba. The immortal sky creates the kingdom of Manipur. In 33 AD, the reign of Lord Pakangba begins. In the 12th century, Loyumbal reigns over Manipur. In the 14th century, Hinduism enters Manipur. And in the 18th century, it reaches its acme. 1729 to 1732, there was mass inspiration of Manipuri traditional texts and scriptures led by Santidas Gosai, a Bengali Hindu missionary. This is chronicled as Puya Maitaba. 1819 to 1826, Chahitarit Kuntakpa or seven years devastation after the attack by the Kingdom of Burma. 1891, Kongjom War, the Anglo-Manipuri War, which brought British uh, Manipur under the British rule. 1904, the first Manipuri Nupizal. 1939, second Nupizal. Women uprising against mass exploitation and artificial famine triggered by the British imperialists. 1942 to 1944, Battle of Imphal. Japanese armies attempted to destroy the Allied forces at Imphal and invade India, but were driven back to Burma with heavy losses. 1947. British leaves Manipur. 1949, the Indian domination, dominion annexation of Manipur. 1972, Manipur attains statehood. 1980, imposition of armed forces special power at 1958, giving impunity to the Indian armed forces. There are close to 1,600 extra judicial killings in Manipur recorded under the act since then. 1982, Surjit Kapam was born in a small village called Kuiro Thongju Part 2 in Imphal. June 18, 2001. Manipur uprising against Indo-Naga merger agreement. 18 civilians were killed by the Indian armed forces. 2004, 12 Ima, or mothers, protested naked in front of the Kangla fort against the rape and killing of a Manipuri woman, Thangjam Manorama. 2004, Kangla, 
the erstwhile palace of the kingdom of Manipur, which was occupied by the British and later by the Assam Rifles, was handed over to the people of Manipur and opened for public entry. 2005, Manipur State Library was burned down allegedly by cultural revivalists. 2020 to present day, under COVID, government data from, the, from last night shows 10,076 active cases. More than 7,000 people have been tested in the last 24 hours. 1,027 positive cases, 17 new deaths. Manipur is once again, again under curfew. Amazing, thank you. Whatever the line of history and uh, yeah, that little granular movement of that, that piece of rice, I think, right? And uh, how, how beautiful. So really, thank you. Um, thank you so, so very much. That is a, a powerful, I think, uh, sort of um, artistic intervention. And um, I think that image will, 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 will stay with me. So uh, Nikki, you said you also have something for us. Yes, uh, uh, I know the name of two people uh, who have passed away. Uh, one is Vijaya Yumlimbam. She was a journalist, a producer, and an art enthusiast. She helps many aspiring artists from Manipur. Uh, and she passed away due to COVID uh, earlier this uh, year. And another one is Danish Shidiki, photojournalist of uh, Reuters India, who was shot dead by the Taliban just a couple of days back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if the backend team can share the translation online, that would be really helpful. The poem is uh, written by Laishram Samarendra, one of the uh, uh, very uh, uh, great poets of Manipur. It's called Sunyada Prithibi. Prithibi. Aigi Prithibi. Aigi Yumgi. Aigi Dai Bak, Aigi Ichagi, Aigi Nupigi, Aigi Sagai Nataigi, Aigi Marup Mapangi Prithibi, Ching Turin Umangi Pazaraba Prithibi, Aina Chatlamba, Aina Koiramba, Oizerba Tiramba, Chin Tiramba, Oidaba Taramba Prithibi, Nung Sirabi Prithibi, Aina Kiramba, Aina Yek Nambagi Prithibi. Akan bagi tau bengam bagi kinai kun bagi pin da bagi prithibi. Apik bagi tuon bagi asuon bagi lai da bagi caba pang da bagi tu la ba prithibi. Akan ba angam bana acum ba oib ba prithibi. Dharma gimi nda Gandhi gimi nda Satya gimi nda. Nanti pamba ikai ba kang da ba prithibi. Layu layu layu. That's it. That's it's wonderful. Thank you so much. And it is about the earth and the, the home and the country and uh, and what's done in the name of religion, Gandhi and, uh, and truth. And uh, yes, it all it makes our, our head spin. So really, thank you so very, very, very much for your participation, both of you. And um, I hope you can stay with us as we now move um, to Eastern uh, Europe, where we have um, uh, with us uh, Jayton uh, Neziraj, if I say it right, from Kosovo, and Gianna Karabunari, Kanabunariu from Romania. So, um, uh, uh, so thank you for um, having uh, shared that experience with you. And we